Hello everyone, uh, finally we're on the wheel, the final part of the full alias design course um, and we'll have a completed car which we can then import into VRED but let's get this wheel in. Uh, to find this image I just googled Audi A6 2018 al al alloy wheel and uh, scrolled down and found this image, it's a good one, it's on auto car but annoyingly I couldn't find it on this. So yeah, found it here, saved it and zoom it in and we can have a good look at it. So yeah, for the wheel, you don't need the car, just make everything invisible, create a new layer for wheel. And then what I've done here is I've built some guide curves. So basically you build, sorry, circles for the outer. Let's just do it in real time, I'll do it again. I've built a circle for the outer edge of the tire. And then I'll copy and paste and scale that in to the outer edge of the alloy wheel and then copy and paste that and scale it into any other kind of circle border you can find. So now this is like the thickness of the alloy wheel. And then copy and paste, scale it in. Here is another circle, you can see it goes all the way around. Yeah, it's hidden by some of the rim, but that is a circle. And then copy and paste that. And basically just scale the circle down to anything that looks like it will be circular. Uh, copy and paste. Here here where the um, this edge changes direction is a circle if we look at the image it's pretty obvious it's this edge here you can see that's a circle running underneath the rim so I mimic that and then the final one is the badge the other good thing about <coughs> building these circles is you can use them as a guide for snapping curves like across the center line so now that's exact, exactly center. I can use that center point. Um, before I did that though, I did this was the snap division was at six, so I couldn't I couldn't snap it to the top. Look, the six snap divisions are. I could have snapped it to the side, but I just like to work from the top, so I increased the snap divisions to eight, and that provided me with a snap division for the top and bottom of the circle. And now we've got a center line. Uh, and from there we now have to create a surface to build from and to do that we use the revolve tool uh, and when working with the revolve tool you have to make sure you understand like which direction things need to revolve in so let's have a look at the image we want to create this so basically just imagine this rim is untrimmed so this surface is just one big surface all the way around, or like five big surfaces all the way around. And this where it changes direction as well, that's another surface flowing all the way around. So we have to kind of mimic <coughs> mimic that section in side view. So you can see it's quite it's basically just flat there and then it changes direction and dives in towards the badge. So that will happen from Like I said before, we're gonna build a one tenth yeah, so that I don't know if I said that before. Um, when building um, wheels, try not to get overwhelmed by the number of spokes. Just remember that you're going to be building one section of the spoke. So because this is a five-spoke wheel, uh, we're only going to build one tenth. So from this center line down, and then up there. So once we build that section in, we then just mirror it over to that side. So you end up with one fifth of the wheel, one spoke. And then you just rotate, you just duplicate that round five times to create the entire wheel. But first, we're going to create a base surface, like I said. And we're going to go from this point to the point at which it changes direction, which we need to just have a look. Where does it change? It changes direction around there where that graphic changes direction. So, yeah, we will build it to there. So it's kind of in line with that, maybe a bit higher. And that will stay flat. And I'm gonna actually get rid of that, that big curve at the moment because it's distracting. And then we're gonna build another curve down to this point. And we are going to manipulate it inside view. Sorry, stretch. Or oh, front view, sorry. So it dives in. You kind of have to guess how much, like based on the image you can see, guess how much it is diving in here. It doesn't look like a lot, but then on other images, 
I've noticed it does. Oh. Oh, no. yeah, so if you zoom in here, you can see it, it looks like it's a bit more obvious. So I'm going to go with that, what I've got so far. And we're going to give, so it's not too flat, I'm going to give it a little bit of crown on both curves. <clears throat> Probably actually going to let this one dive in a tiny bit as well. Just a bit. <clears throat> and then snap that to there. And give that a bit of crown. And there we go. Alright. And now we have to make sure, so I'll bring that center line curve back. And we have to make sure that the, these two new curves that I built, make sure that their pivots are directly on the center of the wheel. And now we'll use that to rotate around or revolve around. So now you double click the revolve tool, double check everything. We want it to be, I don't know, five degree surfaces. And we want, this is where it's important. So it's a five spoke wheel. We want there to be five segments. And that will automatically update the uh, angle for you. So it's 72 degrees. And I think we need it to <coughs> revolve around Y. No, I think it has to revolve around X. Let's see. And uh, that's everything. And then you just click on the curve. Okay, so it's revolving around the wrong axes. So all you do is click the axes you want it to revolve around. And it updates in real time. So that's Y. And then you do the same for this curve. And let's change the color. Cool, so now we have five good surfaces, but we don't need all of those, so I'm just gonna template the ones we don't need. And this is the one we do need, and we actually don't even need it to be that big. So in order to uh, cut that into a tenth, cut it in half, you can either, there's multiple ways you can do it, you can use the patch precision tool which I'm just going to use or so that goes exactly halfway down the two surfaces that I've created or you can basically create a curve from there to the center line uh, make sure the pivot's set to the middle and duplicate around 10 times to reset all this uh, rotation around Y 72 degrees no Sorry, half of that, 36 degrees, because we want it to go around 10 times. Put that to nine, because there's already one there, and hope that this works. Yeah, there you go. So then you'd use that curve to uh, trim it. So now that I've done that, I'll just use the curve, but usually I just use the patch precision tool to give me exactly halfway between, and that'll make it a tenth. Anyway, right. so cut that down. You just want to minimize the number of surfaces as much as possible, so you're not completely overwhelmed by what's going on. Right, next. Let's get rid of these curves, they're distracting. Next, we want to start projecting those circles on. So, oh no, actually we don't. Those circles are just going to be used as a guide. We need to project these graphics on. These guys. They look a bit weird. There's like a scallop in each one. Which will be annoying to build, but we'll do it. Uh, yeah, and the rest is kind of simple. So let, let's first, let's trim away these graphics so one here make sure you always over kind of over exaggerate we are going to project this curve on actually this circle because that's going to act as this outer edge or inner edge overbuilding that because there's going to be a radius in there that fills in that area And then this one, and here, so it's going to be a bit bigger there. Yeah, it's just the radius. Uh, okay. So that actually needs to be over a little bit more. Uh, and what else? This piece here, I think this little sliver. 
Yeah, get there. I'd say this one's a circle too. I like this edge. Right there. And then from there we go up to there. Okay, and projectile. Oh, and don't forget this one as well. And here is a circle too. But then again, I'm not sure. Let's double check that. Yeah, it looks like it is like cut, sliced by a circle. So let's do that. Okay, uh, it's getting a little bit confusing, so I'm just going to take away the CVs of those circles. Uh, this shouldn't be tapering so much, so let's fix that. Good. And project those on to these uh, new surfaces. What's going on here? Oh, patch precision. Go away. Go away. Let's shade it up so I can see what's going on. Two. Project. Not the circles. This circle there, yeah. And this circle. Right. Now trying to figure out where we need to trim. Let's get rid of those curves. Don't need that guy. Let's let's just trim away the bits we don't we know we don't need, so discard the big. Yeah, good. Oh. Uh, trim these away. I think that's it. Yeah, discard. So right now it looks a bit strange, but we'll, like just to double check that we're going in the right direction, I'll uh, I will duplicate these all the way around. So first, I'm going to mirror it across. Edit, duplicate, object, reset. We want it to be minus one on the y-axis nope we want it to be minus one on the x-axis <laughs> I always get these confused minus one here there you go and then just let's duplicate it all round all the way around to see what it looks like when we've done that edit duplicate object that's a one uh, four times because we've already got the fifth spoke and 72 degrees go nice that's look our wheels going in the right direction it's really good all right we'll delete all those for now we don't need them we'll just carry on building the one tenth right okay so now we're going to put i'm going to put this surface in on here it looks like one clean surface but when i've looked properly at the image it's like i guess they do this for um uh, production in design it would make it all one smooth surface there but because we want it to make we want to make it look realistic hmm. uh, I was gonna say we should just mimic exactly what it's doing here but I don't know I think we should do what we usually do in design and keep it nice and smooth because in in these spokes here it is smooth so it just makes sense so let's do that right so to do that we're just gonna build a section from here Let's do it. Let's do it where we snap it to that circle and then we'll stretch it in quite a bit. Let's say to about there and then give it some crown. I'm going to reduce the CVs and then we're going to use the revolve tool for this as well. So edit, sorry, surface revolve. Oh, make sure the pivot is set to the center of the wheel and then revolve there you go got a nice surface going all the way around I'm just going to template the ones we don't need trim this one back as well no, yep okay that's the beginning of it and then the rest of them so these inner ones we can see are they're like a scallop coming to a point these outer ones, they just look like they are drafted back pretty much directly in zero degrees, but we'll, no, okay, there's a bit of an angle. So we literally just draft them back. 
Uh, and the other thing to get your head around is the, the thickness of the spoke. Like, usually you'd imagine it to be like the rear edge mimicking the front edge in terms of section, but sometimes it doesn't. And that's usually what you get given by engineering to like build to and trim to. But for this, I feel like we should just keep the same section for the rear edge. So we'll copy and paste that and move it in to about, we want to move it into where this stops. Looks like it's gonna be quite thick actually. So look at the image again, how thick it looks. Yeah, they're kind of, they're quite thick. Maybe not that thick though, let's bring it outboard a bit. There you go. And we'll just manipulate this curve to come a bit further, a bit closer to this intersect. Right, that'll do. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to untrim these back surfaces because we're just going to shoot through them. Let's get rid of the cousin surface. We're just going to shoot our drafts through it and insect and trim. So let's draft back. One, two. Oh, it's minus 20 angle. We don't want that yet. We want it to go in Y. Good. We'll give it, I don't know. Let's have a look in front view. The angle will depend on where it lands. Where the insect lands, I'm going to say 10 degrees. Let's see, we'll intersect that and just make it invisible. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe a bit more. 15. Yeah, that'll do. Nice. Uh, intersect that there and there. Maybe it's actually a good idea to put a radius on there first, a design radius of about, I don't know, 20. Yeah, 20 looks good. And project those curves on if they're still there. If they're not, bring them back. Confused again, need to hide those. Two, three, keep. Okay, good. Right, and do that draft technique again, but this time it'll run around that fillet. This one actually will need a blend curve there, I think, won't it? Yeah. So let's give it a blend curve. One, two. Just untrim that. So get rid of those. Protect that on. Trim. Okay, yeah, do that draft technique again. 15 degrees. Oh, actually, <laughs> let's give this in a one at the same radius. Sorry. I'm going to delete history and I'll do the drafts. And we did it at 15, didn't we? Minus 15. Cool, looking good. Looking really good. And the same for these ones. Nice. And then the inners are slightly different, so we'll work with those in a bit. Let's just get the rest of the wheel in. So I'm going to put in uh, this guy now. This guy where the badge sits. Basically, it sits a bit inboard of the wheel. And it's just a revolve in inboard of the wheel. So let's do that. Uh, we'll start from this point. Uh, we don't need to go all the way to the center, we'll just go to the edge of the badge. And we have to move it inboard. I don't know how much yet. Let's just try that for now. Make sure the pivot is at the center. 
also I feel like it'll have a bit of like like it's not going to be completely flat it'll have a bit of roundness to it but we'll be able to judge it when we see the intersect with the spoke I actually feel like it's going to be even further inboard isn't it because it needs to sit inside of the spoke which actually dives in so yeah needs to be in board of that there you go there all right now let's revolve that surface Ooh. revolve oh and also don't forget to save your work let's do that now and uh, let's just intersect this so we can see what's going on looks like it's about right close looks like it needs to be moved further inboard so let's just move it back a bit maybe bring those in on their own let's have a look again yeah I think that'll do that's good it looks a lot deeper there though but I guess it does go deeper yeah anyway uh, so then we just build another revolve, uh, build another section. I'm going to trim this away. That's why this, well that's why this edge looks higher than this. So anyway, let's copy and paste this. Because this actually gets trimmed away sooner. Right, that needs to come up higher to that edge, and then we re revolve that round to make sure it's in the center. Surface revolve, there you go. Cool. Alright, I'm actually going to make it even deeper than that. Oh. Okay, good. And then we'll just template the ones we don't need for now. Just to keep it simple. Oh. Trim all of this back to this curve. Project. No. Discard. Discard. What's this guy? Why has that happened? Oh, it's the draft. Uh, cool. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in here, actually. Let's have a look. Okay, and let's just untrim that again. So. do for now right and now we'll also build the badge which is just gonna be the actually let's build it from this curve one two move it inboard give it some thing this actually needs to be trimmed to the outer circle and discard that make sure the pivots in the middle and revolve okay there's the badge make it a bit rounder and then build it the border one two make sure that's in the center and revolve and again template the bits we don't need I mean we can keep that there for now actually it's just the badge isn't it okay and then we can also put in the circles for the bolts where they're going to trim away discard there you go so we have most of the wheel now in 
save your work and let's get these uh, filled in here and then we'll start adding radiuses like the important ones okay so to build these scallops the best way is usually just to draft them through each other so let's see what happens when I do a draft no that's a freeform blend my bad yeah let's give it more angle uh, minus 30 yeah see there you go that's quite nice it doesn't show it on the orthographic so I just kind of have to do it by eye Yeah, it looks like that point is actually in line with that, so I've done too much angle. Let's do 20, minus 20. No, a bit too little, minus 22. There you go. That's about right. It's really, it feels really deep, deep though, that's the problem. So I'm going to actually go back to minus 30. I don't care. Yeah, cool. Uh, intersect those with each other. So, one, two, intersect. Uh, and then intersect it with this as well. Sorry. And then we can trim these guys back. Oh, that didn't like that for some reason. It's, just need to extend the curve on surface there. Still feels like that scallop's too deep, but whatever. Add more drama. Okay, and then you do the same for these. We'll do a. Let's have a look. Yeah. I intersect there. I'll just hope. I'll put drafts in and hope that they can intersect nicely with each other. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Ah, uh, that's annoying. They're going in the wrong direction. Oh, yeah, they're not even going in any direction. Oh, yeah, they are. They're both going in the same direction. We don't want that. So let's do these ones first. And these ones second. Yeah, it seems to be working. Yeah, cool. It is annoying that that point there ends up different to that point, so maybe we will have to adjust that a bit. Let's do 40. Minus 40. That's gone too high. But I prefer that anyway, so we're going to do the same with these guys. Uh, minus 35. Yeah, that's better. I assume that they're meant to be like level. Yeah. So don't forget this one. 40. Nice. And then we just intersect those with each other. Insect, 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 insect. And with that guy. Right, with that guy. And trim it back. Trim everything back. And of course it's not. Crack down there. Trim that. Trim, 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 trim. And we should do the same for these drafts that I built earlier. For the outer edges of the rim. Intersect it with those back surfaces and also this revolve. And trim them back. Of course it's not going to work here just extend the curve on surface no wrong one keep 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 And this surface back here needs to be trimmed to the inner edge as well. quite good and now we just need to radius it up and then uh, that's pretty much the wheel done so yeah it's quite easy when you know what to do it's easy but it can be a pain you just need to kind of, it's just a, a 
like the way of working is just a little bit different. You just have to kind of think in revolves, think in circles. Right, okay, save your work. Let's build, which radiuses should we build first? Probably these inner ones of the scallops. And then these ones that go around. And that's about it really, then like the edge of there, that one's really easy. Do that quickly now. Just a little radius on this edge. Like five mil. Too big. Three mil. Make sure it's edge line. Okay. This one in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll try it at three mil. See what happens. That looks alright. Maybe a bit bigger. Four. Let's edge a line. There. Oh, yeah, it's alright. I thought it wasn't going to like it. I'm actually going to extend it. And we'll just extend it through the surface and intersect, trim away. Let's have a look at the image again just to kind of get a grow. Yeah, it seems about right. Maybe it is a bit bigger. Let's go with five then. Actually, think it's even bigger than that. Six. Just going to check where the insect. Yeah, see, the insect's meant to be higher, so that that suggests that the radius itself needs to end like there. So let's go with eight. Yeah, that's better. Let's see what it looks like on edge line again. There, it goes really pointy when you do that. So let's just keep it at extend. Make sure that's one. Extend, yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm still going to do it, but I'm going to do it 10. Cool. And then same for this one as well. One. Oh, it's gone back to four. So nine, 10. One. One, two, three, four. Build. Okay, let's see what happens then when I extend them through the surface. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do this one first and trim. Oh, yeah, see? Doesn't like it. Like, I expected that to be. Yeah. I'm going to cheat and move it out. And that's probably not right still anyway. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Actually too much. Okay, and trim that back to what it was. Uh, of course it's not even... Feel that gap in with the curve. Trim, 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 keep, keep. Nope. Keep, keep. So for this next one, I'm actually going to do. So let's un. Sorry. Unextend this, bring it back to where it was. Oop. Let's just say about there. And then the next one will extend with merge turned off so we can manipulate it. Like, I cheated the other one. Oh no. Oh, it's going to crash. Save your work. Uh, so we can, yeah, we have freedom to alter the extended surface without worrying about curvature here. So I've actually lost curvature on the other one because I cheated. Uh, and trim. Let's delete history. Not liking the history. Delete history. Also, I think is anti alias on. Yeah, go away. Now let's tweak this, I'm going to make it 3 and we're going to move that outboard insect that check it with the orthographic so it's actually a bit too much but let's just... ok, and let's trim that back 1, 2 
Great. Looking good. Uh, and then we will build like the radius around there. Oh, I just realized. We're missing the border. Two, three, four. Uh, cool. So yeah, let's just build these rods in here. Ten's too big. Five. Five's too big. Three. Oh, it's because the arrow's pointing the wrong way. Make sure they're pointing in the right direction. One up here, one, two. Let's actually check what, how big it, I guess there isn't really. It's just quite tight, Rad. I still think we should go five there. Uh, and when I've done that, it's actually trimmed it away. So all you do is just delete history. And then trim that back. And then same on this side. Delete history. Oh, wait, that was it five? Yeah. Delete history. And trim that. And then we could do the radiuses in here as well. I just feel like it's going to be a bit annoying. We'll have to do a ball corner in here. Two. We do it a bit smaller in there. Three. Make sure it's set to extend. Edge line it there. And we do it a bit bigger. Five mil seems fine. Okay, and we we'll just pull corner that. Hopefully, I don't need to extend anything through each other because they're already doing. Oh, that one's doing quite a lot. To be fair, I need to extend that back really. When it when it's overextended, oh, make sure it's set to merge. When it's overextended, it generally doesn't like it either. So well, now that I've done that, I'll do that as well. Extend that. Pull corner. Come on, work first time. One, two, three, go. Select the base surface. Go. Uh, it doesn't like it. Uh, and that's usually down to something being overextended. I think it's because I extended this but didn't realign it to the surface. So it's usually the weight. Same for this guy. And then we can trim that back. Alright, try again. No, it still doesn't like it. Again, it's probably because this is still overextended. Than that back a bit as well. Alright, one last go, and otherwise I'll do it manually. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, it's really annoying me though, I think it is because this needs to be realigned as well, this surface here. So delete those. Project a line, project a line, trim back, trim back. Ball corner, come on. There we go. You always just got to make sure everything's aligned again. That's the annoying thing. Yeah, it's not really liking it, but for this tiny little area, that'll do. I don't care that everything's failing. That trim away. Delete history. So these need no, that didn't trim away. Okay. Okay, and then same. We have to untrim that actually. I will actually trim divide them so they're individual pieces. But for now, keep it all as one big surface. Fill it here, here. Make sure that's facing the right way. Edge line there. Edge line there. Delete history. I'm going to try ball corner this time again without manipulating anything and see what happens. It worked. Sometimes it works. Bit of a piss take. Uh, okay. Let's Let's untrim this and trim divide each piece. Three, three, four, divide. And then everything else can just go away. Nice. And now we just need to trim this base surface to the. Oh no, that's annoying. Sake. 
I'm gonna just extend it. We just need to trim this base surface to these uh, rads that I've just built. So, of course it's not bloody... whatever. Weird. Let's discard the bits we don't want. Discard, discard, discard. Discard, discard, discard. Uh, didn't work. Didn't work because of this bugger. Go away. Trim convert. Surface back. Protect that edge on. Right. Discard, 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 discard. Ugh! Why is that happening? <sighs> okay, let's just try keeping it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's something to do with this. God's sake. <laughs> uh, let's trim these curves on surface back. It's probably part of the problem. Oh, come off it. Alright, these ones then. Just project those on. Alright, now it should work. Oh, okay. There's a gap there. Weird. There we go. Got there in the end. It's annoying. Hopefully, you don't encounter the same issue. And of course, I've missed that trim there. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. This one, same thing. Just need to project that new radius on. Keep everything that I want to keep. And that's it. There you go. We have our rim. Now you can add little radiuses around here as well, I guess. I don't think I'm going to do those inner ones, but I'll do these outer ones to give it a bit of finish. Uh, again, it's going to be like a ball corner here, which is annoying, but I'm getting a bit sick of the ball corner tool now. Oop. Just put that all the way to the bottom. 3 mil. Didn't like it. Maybe just something to do with history, to be history. Default, default. One, two, three. I'm just going to do one bit at a time. Edge of light. One, two. Uh, up here as well. Didn't like it because the arrow is pointing the wrong way. Edge of line. And then this guy. <coughs> no. Edge of line. Delete history. Oh, come on. 
Right, and let's try and build ball corners without extending anything. One, two, three, go. Ah, oh, screw you. Uh, untrim that. Right, let's extend these three then. One. Two. I'm gonna delete these guys on surface and just re-project the line those guys on. Here as well. And common ball corner. One, two, three, build. Yeah. Delete history. Trim that back. Or we'll discard that. Good. And then same for this up here. This is the one. These are usually tricky. They don't like. Alias doesn't like these ball corners. Ugh. Okay, let's do the same. Delete those curves on surface. Reproject a line. Okay, that one didn't like it. Just up the CV count. Oh, it's tangent at least, so we'll keep it that. Uh, ball corner, one, two, three. Build. Ah, it really doesn't like it. Rubbish. Uh, <coughs> make sure that's untrimmed. Maybe extend this through a bit. Ball corner again. One, two, three. Build. No, it doesn't like it. Rubbish. I don't think it'll work around like any other surface. Yeah, it needs to be around this one. Uh, I mean, I can try extending it through again a bit more, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I said it didn't like it. Uh, so we'll have to build our own, which is fucking pain in the ass. Because I could have just said, <laughs> we're finished. But I decided to carry on building radiuses. On. Let's trim that back. Delete the curve history. Uh, freeform blend here. Oh, sorry, blend curve here. And we're going to trim convert this guy. And then we just need to trim these back as well. Convert that. Trim this guy. Trim convert that. And build a surface in there and hope it doesn't look too crap. Let's go with square. Let's just go all tangent. Up the CV count a bit. Doesn't like it. Give it a span. Doesn't like it. Oof, that's not good, is it? of the tick boxes go away we can at least get this to look aligned they will look better I prefer it when it's edge aligned of course that's my own fault we can do that Try building a square in there again. One, two, three, 
two, three, four. And let's just align them locally. Almost. Almost pops in. Whatever. And just want to make sure that this note is aligned here as well, but it's not even positional. So the best way to do that is to project align it. So we untrim. No, let's uh, delete history first. If only the ball corner worked. So we get rid of this curl and surface and project a line. Cool. Oh, that was easy. I don't know why alias makes you project a line, but it does. Uh, and then trim these away. Trim, 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 trim. God. Let's get rid of these two. Oh, also these. <laughs> oh, it's just so much to trim away now. And yeah, this ball corner over here, and then we'll call that done. We'll put a bolt in, and then we'll rotate everything round, and put the tire in, and it'll be done. Don't forget to save your work. This is probably going to do the same thing while I try a ball corner, but I've got to try anyway. Project a line. Project a line. Delete history. Come on, ball corner. One, two, three, go. Oh, okay. So it builds something, but it looks shit. Oh, there we go. That'll do. I mean, that's really bad. It doesn't go around the corner properly at all, but I don't care anymore. Alright, and discard this. There you go. Actually, I just realised I did the same thing again, didn't I? Delete history. of everything actually, I just realised. Okay, and then and we want to trim this, get that rolling around that corner. Oh, that's why. There's no projected surface on there. Right, we'll do the whole keep. Keep, 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 keep. Ah, uh, keep, keep. Keep. Keep, 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 keep. Okay, looks good. Let's build the nut in there. It's just a round surface, just a um, nut cap. Uh, to do that, we need to know the center point of this. Go away. Uh, build that in there. Cool. Get rid of that. Give it a bit of, a bit of crown. Oh, I've done that the wrong way. Make sure you do it in Y. Make sure the pivot's centre the centre where you want it to revolve around and then revolve. Uh, yeah, cool. Oh, not great. Oh, I know why. <sighs> it's because it needs to come directly down in Z. Center point, right? Okay, 
Move that out. Move that out. Get rid of that. Uh, pivot point there and revolve. Make it a bit rounder. Okay, and then I'm just gonna rotate that whole thing. Yep. Oop, rotate. Just so it sits. Cool. And let's finish off the wheel, the alloy wheel. Delete history. Oh my god. Every time I do that, I think it's going to crash. Save your work. I'm going to get rid of all these curves, apart from the outer ones, because I need those for the tire guide. Alright, delete the templates as well. We don't need those. And let's duplicate all of this five times. Well, actually, first we've got to mirror it. So, everything, get rid of that for now. Get rid of that and that. We need to mirror this. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure the pivots are all in the center so pivot and duplicate reset one I want this to be minus one go cool and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I think I'm gonna group the, I'm gonna group this separately and this is all going to be one. Like, let's have a look. Yeah, so it's. This is all one, but then the drafts are all black. So let's hide uh, the fillets as well. Will be silver, I think. And then inside the fillets will be the black. So let's just group all those. Just so it's easier later then to assign the shaders. That's everything. Group or we'll edit group. Hide that and then just select all these minus the curves. Go away, go away. And oh, just realized I forgot to select that earlier. Group. Okay, let's bring all that back. Make sure we just group that with that. Uh, and bring all this back. Oh, I thought I'd group that, didn't. Group. Oh, also these guys. They need to be grouped. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Uh, and let's shade it. So these bits just need to be dark. Not too dark, though. that's nice. And also that round inner circle needs to be dark reflective. Looking good. Uh, and then let's rotate around five times, including this guy. That needs to be dark. We do it like plastic or something. Okay, object, pick. Oh, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh no. It's just because this got trimmed back. Ah. Uh, weird. How's that happened? Oh, okay. My bad. I've accidentally grouped it with the wrong thing. So let's grab the surface. Delete. Paste. And just group it with this. Okay. And grab everything. Make sure it's set. The pivot of all of those objects are set to this point. And duplicate it around. Oh no. What the fuck? <laughs> My bad. Just selected paste. Edit, duplicate, object, one, uh, four times, because we've already got the fifth spoke, 72 degrees, go, nice, look at that, and let's not forget the badge, group that guy, check what the colour of that is, I think it's black as well, it's got a silver rim, 
So let's ungroup that. Make that shiny black nice. We just need the Audi logo on there, but we can steal that from the front of the car. And there you go, alloy wheel looks nice. Uh, we can put a brake disc in there as well, but I don't think I'm going to go into too much detail with that. Let's get the tyre in. So to do the tyre, it's just similar to what we did for the thing. I'm not going to put any tread on it because you can get that in V-Red. So I'm just looking at the kind of the section of the tyre now. It like it bulges out from the rim and round. Let's see if I've got any better images of it. Not really. Just have to guess. Uh, yeah. And then the other bit is uh, the inside of the alloy. So yeah, usually they go. We've got the thickness of the tire, which is good from the front view. So I think we should move this into position now, so we can build the tire from there and get the correct fitness, thickness. Let's delete history. Move it into position in Y. Good, uh, and then let's start building tire. So from this point up to there, and we need to give it some kind of bulge. I'm gonna say, let's get rid of that. That's gonna go in a bit as well there. I'm gonna put this so it flows behind the rim because that's generally what you get with a tyre and then I'd say this is actually going to come a little bit lower because even though that was the it was showing the outer edge so that was actually the highest point which will be so wait there, let's duplicate this let's put the pivot here and this will determine the width edit, duplicate, object reset I think we want that to be 1, we want this to be minus 1 here, go Yeah. And there you go, we have a tyre this can actually probably come a bit more like that now because it's not being squeezed behind. Oh no, actually, let's leave it as it was. Give this a bit of crown for the tyre. Uh, let's see what that looks like. I haven't done a tyre in a while, so it might not be correct. Make sure the pivot's at the centre. We can update it live as we look at it. So it looks a bit too bulgy. Not terrible. Look at the image. Yeah, I feel like it's le it needs to lean in a bit more. So let's do that. Let's do like that. Same on the other side and then stretch I think that's more like it and then we run a rat radius all the way around that so let's do that yeah of course we need an inside we need an interior Do that by doing this. So duplicate this. Okay, object, go. Okay, and select those curves. We want to just rot revolve those around. One. Select curve, select curve. Uh, 
like this isn't perfect I'm just doing something to fill in the gap uh, revolve That'll do. Uh, and then a brake disc in there. Oh yeah, we said we were going to do a radius around the tyre. Um, let's see, 30. Looks about right. Wrong colour. And the same on this edge. Just saving. Cool, now you have a wheel and tyre. I did say we'd put a brake disc in. Doesn't show it on this orthographic annoyingly, but let's just. Oh, also, yeah, that is different. There. Anyway, keeping it like that. On this image, it doesn't look like it does that. So yeah, whatever. I think it's to do with the back, the trim. Yeah. All right. Let's put a brake disc in. I'm just gonna kind of guess that brake disc comes to about that point, and it stops there. Yeah. So I don't know. Let's build a circle for a guide. Copy paste. Where did we say it was? That triangle. Quite high then. Let's be a bit lower than that. There. <coughs> uh, and then same again. Make sure this is at the center point. Revolve. And we do know with brake disc they are completely flat. It doesn't need any crown or anything in it. Revolve. Actually, you gonna yeah, extend that 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 back. She needs to come a bit further. It looked like there was some kind of divot here. Bring that pivot to here. Revolve that round. And then give it some thickness. Just build a section that is typical for a brake disc, I don't really know. Grab those curves, set the pivot to here, and revolve. And of course you need calipers as well, but I really don't think I can be able to do that. You can find that kind of stuff on GrabCAD, which I'll show in another tutorial, I think, when I'm presenting, uh, when I'm explaining how to pre prepare it for V-RED. I'll probably try and find an interior. I doubt I'll find one, but if I do, then I'll uh, I'll explain it, how I get it and what I do. There are usually little holes on there as well, which rotate around. So I could do that. Uh, literally just, I'm gonna do it by eye. You can use the array tool, but I, I don't like it. 
Right, let's build a circle. Do you want? Two, three, four. <laughs> this is very freehand. Five. I'll do. Grab those. Make sure the pivot is set to the center point, and we'll duplicate. Oh, for God's sake! Do you want to do that? One, two, three, four, five. Duplicate object. I don't know. Let's rotate it around ten times. So nine. Let's see what it looks like. Day six. There you go. That'll do. Grab these and project those on. Let's get rid of the line curves. Which one? The circles. Project. And just divide. We'll just make. We'll just color them like a dark black rather than make the actual holes. That one didn't work. There we go. There you go, we're with the uh, brake disc but no calipers so can't stop. And let's put it on the cart, <laughs> delete history. We'll make it symmetrical. Oh, what is going on? Visible, symmetrical. Let's make everything else visible so we can see. Visible, visible, looking good. Uh, and then just grab that wheel, copy and paste it. Delete history. Copy, paste. And move it to the rear. I think sometimes on cars, the rear wheels are bigger than the front. So let's see, I think this is probably the same size. Nice. Like by wheels, I mean like the rear tires are slightly bigger. They're usually they're definitely wider. So let's see. Um, I'll get rid of that object display visible. Get rid of that. Get rid of all those curves. Let's have a look. Oh, no, the tires look pretty much the same, front and back. So there you go. Our completed, almost completed. Audi A6, you can always go into more detail, you can add more rads everywhere, like I haven't added radiuses on edges like this, because uh, I can't be bothered, but if you can, you do that, it makes it look more realistic, like on the wheel arch flats as well, add a little radius, um, but I'm not for the sake of time, uh, but yeah, it looks great, uh, and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to flip normals, organise your layers correctly, which is boring, but kind of essential for when you're dealing with it in VRED and just exporting the model and things like that and then importing it into VRED and applying shaders and environments.